Hello friends, welcome back to another video tutorial in AutoCAD. I am architect Sonurai from Glad Studio and in this today video tutorial, I am going to teach you about system setup in YQR and you will understand the user interface. So I am going to select on this YQR and if you will go to select this first icon here system setup and if you click this and bring this arrow here on the right side, you can see there are some commands which will understand the first one is user preferences and you can see this shortcut yq uh, sys so yq work system so if you click here you can see this is the notepad and you are required to see see, see some settings here first one is language which is uh, need to be set to zero and zero is for english uh, language because yq work is a chinese uh, plugin so if you will select one here this will be in chinese language so it will be difficult for you to understand this so now you can close this and you can go to the next here and this is the command pandek this is the command list so if i am going to click on this command pandek shortcut is yq and you can see the, there is a, a shortcut commands all the command list will be here so all the commands which are used in yqr you can see from here and you can also see the shortcut command you can also customize this and make your own shortcut so you can see there is command list uh, like plain wall and column you can see all the commands which are used here will be listed here so you can uh, use this for your reference and next is so yqr toolbar so yqr toolbar will be on the right side here this is the yqr toolbar so this is visible here so if it is missing you can use this to turn this on so if you will select this so yqr toolbar it will be visible on your uh, laptop or computer and if you will use this hide yqr toolbar it will be not visible on your screen so I'm going to first select this so YQR toolbar and you can see that this YQR toolbar is again visible so you are required to understand all this and next is select current user so if you are using in the desktop or laptop on your screen name you can use your user preference from here and the next one is select language so we can select the language from here also and shortcut command is yq lang and you can select your uh, language preferences so i have uh, selected english if you want chinese you can select the next uh, second one here from the list and you can also type on your command list yq lang and set your language so next is set default units so you can change the units from here so shortcut command is by Q units and uh, the drawing units will be in mm cm and dm meter and inches so you can select whatever uh, preference of your units you can select like mm cm dm inches as for your design so next one is reload yq work menu so if you want to reload this from default yqr settings you can just click on to this reload yqr main menu and it will be again reloaded so you can use this also sometimes and now the next one is drawing set drawing system scale if you click this here you can set uh, the scale units which you can use in your uh, drawing and you can use whatever scale if you want like one is to 200 one is to 250 whatever scale if you want to use you can use this settings here and the next one is drawing frame a not to a4 so shortcut command is tk and if you select this you can use this a not a1 a2 a3 a4 seats here and you can also uh, use this open edit and you can uh, change the text here so if you click ok here you can see uh, th this this sheet will be appearing here 
but the language will be in Chinese so I will recommend you to just uh, delete all this text and you can make your own uh, text in English so you can use this also or you can use default AutoCAD title blocks but YQR plugin is very very useful and it can it can save a lot of time and you can also take the help of iqr but this all be in a chinese language which is not of our use so if you want english you can refer my tutorials and you can see the yqr website also and this all will be in a chinese language so this is not much help if you know chinese then it's better for you to refer all this and this one is YQR uninstall. If you want to uninstall this YQR, you can simply click on to this. So this is the brief introduction of system setup in YQR. So this is the topic for today's session. In the next session, I will come with some more interesting topics in YQR. So thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe my channel. Bye-bye.